Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. I'm Zui Mama, and if you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button because it really does help out the channel. And make sure you leave a nice little thumbs up as well because that always does cheer me up a little bit as well. But <laughs> if any of my existing subscribers, I just got to apologize because I haven't been around for the past like sort of three weeks. Um, I got a little bit burnt out, I must admit, by making mobs all the time, and also the videos, they take um, so much time and effort to make for you guys. So um, yeah, that's why I had a little bit of a break. But obviously, as I've had a break Minecraft Earth has been on uh, Minecraft Earth I mean Minecraft Live and we've all seen the glare which is invisibly there look you see it looks really cool um, the LA and also the copper golem so I've built those two and also I built the frog which we're focusing on today and I just want to point out as well before you start criticizing um, that obviously these mobs are not actually in the game yet so I've had to sort of do my best to sort of um, figure out how big they are the size comparison to the to the actual people and obviously the um, the shape and some of the textures as well so just bear that in mind right this is my interpretation of these mobs way 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 before they're actually getting released into the game but Without further ado, if you're happy with this little guy, I think it's about time we get on and build him, eh? Let's let's get to the uh, the blocks and colour, shall we? Okay, so the blocks and colours you'll need for this build are as follows: smooth sandstone slab at ten, smooth red sandstone slab at twelve. That's a tongue twister. Orange terracotta thirty-eight, stripped acacia wood forty-eight, one hundred and forty smooth red sandstone. 7 stripped birch wood, 5 stripped oak wood, 4 black concrete, and just 10 smooth sandstone. And that is the amount of blocks you'll need for today. And just bear in mind, I counted all these by hand, so I might have made a few mistakes, and I think I might have miscounted a few of these blocks, so it wouldn't hurt to have a few extras lying around anyway. So starting off with your stripped acacia wood, we're gonna pop on one there. And then on top of that, we're actually gonna go with our smooth red sandstone, okay? This could be a bit of a tongue twister for me. And we're gonna place a two vertical. To the right of this, we're gonna go with our orange terracotta. And then we're gonna go one, two, three. So that's the inside of the leg so far, and his face is gonna go here. This is the outside of the leg, all right? I know it sounds a bit backwards so far, but it all makes sense in a minute. Use your smooth redstone slab, and you're gonna place one there, then one on the inside. Switch to your smooth sandstone slab this time. Place one there and one there. Then we're gonna leave a block gap and do the same again, a smooth sandstone there and then one diagonal. And then go back to your smooth redstone and you're gonna pop in one there and also one there like that. So you're pretty much copying the same there with a one block gap and do the same again. Then switch back to your orange terracotta and again, in this block here, gonna go one, two, three. So we're copying what we've just done over there. Okay, and then switch to your stripped acacia wood. On the outside, you're gonna plop one. And then on top of that, you're gonna go smooth redstone, one, two, like so. So you should have two sides looking exactly the same so far. Okay, using your stripped birch wood, what I want you to do is come on top of this orange terracotta here. We're gonna go one. On top of that, go two smooth sandstone, like so. And then to the right of this, you're gonna go one, two, three as well. Go back to your stripped birch wood again, pop one on top, and then on top of that, a stripped oak wood. And what we're gonna do is essentially do that same pattern on this side as well, so we're gonna do the opposite. So stripped birch wood again on top of there, followed by our smooth sandstone, one, two, three. And we can pop two on top of this block here, one, two there. And then in the gap, we're gonna go stripped birch wood, on top of that, oak wood and you should have two patterns looking like that. Now in the center, if you go back to your um, stripped oak wood, you can pop one on the bottom there and then one on top like that. See where the grain goes sideways and vertical with the wood? I always like mine going upwards. I don't know why I like them facing vertical, so I'm just gonna change that. I think it's a bit of OCD. And um, obviously you can have your facing whatever way you want. There we go. Switch now to your orange terracotta. We're actually gonna go one, two, three, and then come up and two on the side, and do another two on this side as well. There we go. So that's kind of is like a mouth sort of type area. And then on top of this, what you're gonna do is get your smooth red, smooth red sandstone. I keep getting my 
my words all mixed up there. So fill that in there with three across the top and then do a strip all the way across like so. And that is the front of the frog pretty much done so far. Spin around to the right hand side now. What we're gonna do is finish off the leg. So we're gonna go with our stripped acacia wood and we're gonna start with this acacia wood is at the bottom here and go one followed by another orange terracotta, and that should bring us nicely to the back of the leg section we already built earlier on. On top of that, another stripped acacia wood. Then switch to your smooth red sandstone and go one, two, three, and that is the first leg complete, believe it or not. Okay, moving on up, we're gonna work on the torso. So using your stripped birch wood, we're gonna just pop on one next to that smooth sandstone. Then go with our smooth red sandstone again, going to go one, two, three, okay? And then I want you to come around and underneath go one, two, and then one on the left-hand side, followed by a stripped acacia wood next to that. So you've got like um, a block of six like that so far. Then to the right of that, we're gonna go orange terracotta. And then on top, we're gonna go, oh, I can't fly, stripped acacia wood again, one, two, and then come across by one, followed by a um, orange terracotta, right? While we've got the acacia wood here as well, we're gonna, this, these three here in the middle one, I want it to come up by two blocks and just delete that one. Just leave that one float for the time being because we'll fill that in in a second. Now come back to the front where this orange um, terracotta is. I'm gonna go one, two, and then pop in another stripped acacia wood next to that as well. So you've got a funky pattern looking like that so far. Switch back to your smooth red sandstone and we're just gonna do a line all the way across there. Come up and then a line all the way across as well. So that's the sort of side of the body all complete. Look at that. Let's work on the eyes and the eyes area, should I say. So go to the front of the build on the left hand side. Um, one block in from the front, we're gonna go with our black concrete. Back to your smooth red sandstone, go one, two, and then come up by one, two, three as well. And there we go, that's the eye complete, or well, the side of the eye, should I say. Now, moving on to the back leg. So what I want you to do is get our orange terracotta out, and we're gonna um, actually start from this block here. So it's sort of diagonal to that orange terracotta that's already there. Place one, two, and then come out with the stripped acacia wood. While you've got that in our hand, we're actually gonna come across by one, two, three, four in total, okay? So that should be four across. And then also pop one vertical as well. Then on top of that, what I want you to do is get your smooth redstone again. We're gonna go one, two, three. And then on top of that, one, two, three, four, like so. So that's the side of it complete. Now switch your smooth red sandstone slab. God, these are a mouthful, aren't they? So we're gonna go, we're gonna pop in one there, one there, and then come across by one, two as well. So we've got like a L shape, okay? Go to your smooth sandstone slab. Oh, one there, skip a block, place one, and then also one sort of tucked in backwards like so. Now all I need to do is spin on around to the inside of the build, and we're gonna just go strip to acacia wood, we're gonna pop one on there, go back to your smooth red sandstone, go one across there, and then we can also just bring that across for the time being, one, two, three for the time being, right? We'll finish off the back in a minute, but for now, that is the sort of side of the, um, the frog complete. There we go, look at that, looking cool. So all we need to do now is replicate this on the opposite side. So let's spin on round and let's get it done. <laughs> right, there we go. I'm going nuts, as you can see. Right, so this side is pretty much, we're gonna copy what we've already done on this side. So what we're gonna do is we'll do the leg first. So again, we're gonna start from this front leg quickly. We're gonna get with our um, stripped acacia wood and we're gonna go one and then followed by an orange terracotta. And then on top of that, we're gonna go another stripped acacia wood followed by a smooth red zone, one, two, three, and that's the side of the front leg done. Okay, so now we've done the front leg, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this side of the body. Now, I was gonna do one of our traditional races um, for anyone that's obviously an existing subscriber to the channel, but for anyone new, it might be a bit complicated because there's all these little nooks and crannies and gaps. So we're just gonna work it together. So what we're gonna do is, like I said, copy this bit onto this bit, okay? So all I'm gonna do now is look across and we'll start with here. So we've got orange terracotta, we're gonna go one, 
two, and then what we've got next, acacia, and then we can switch back to our smooth sandstone. One, two, three, four. Look up, one there, and then we've got an acacia there, full of ice sandstone all the way across. On top of that, black. Back to our sandstone, one, two, three, four, five, like so, that's the size of his eye. So you can see all I'm doing is looking across and then stripped birch wood there, uh, smooth red sandstone there, 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 come across, one, two, down this side of the leg. Acacia is gonna go there, followed by a orange terracotta. Acacia again, one, two, three and then another orange terracotta on the side so there we go that is the other side complete and very straightforward and simple that one so all we're going to do now is work on the back leg exactly the same as what we did on the other side so using your orange terracotta we're going to start from this block here i'm going to place a one and then come towards us by one followed by a stripped acacia wood then you're going to go across from that one two three four in total and then come up by one with your acacia wood. Switch to your smooth red sandstone. You can go one, two, three across there. And then on top of that, one, two, three, four. Spin on round to the inside of the leg. You can actually put another acacia just there. And then on top of that, a smooth red sandstone. And we can actually just pull that all the way across back to the back of the body as well. So that's all closed off nicely now. Now what I want you to do is switch to your smooth red sandstone slab and go one, two, three, four. So we've got like an L shape, remember? Switch to your smooth sandstone slab and we're gonna pop in one there, one diagonal to that, and then also just one on this side as well. So that gives the impression of his sort of his little legs are bent and his sort of toes and that are ready to sort of jump out or out of the water, in the water, I don't know, whatever he's going to do. But anyway, that's the side of the um, frog complete. Okay, now we've finished this side of the body, what we do is spin on round to the back and we're going to work on this section now. So using your smooth red sandstone, what I need to do is just come to this orange terracotta and I just need to go one, two, three. And do the same on this side as well. One, two, three. Because for some reason earlier on, I made this body too short. It's meant to be actually come out to this point there. So now we've corrected that. Let's work on the legs. So using your stripped acacia wood, come back to the back sort of part of the leg. And the left hand side, we're going to go acacia wood. Orange terracotta. On top of that, another acacia wood. Then go back to your smooth red sandstone, pop one there and one there. So that seals that side up nicely now. And we can do the same on the opposite side. So on the right hand side leg, again, we're going to go with our stripped acacia wood. Pop in one there. Next to that, a orange terracotta. Above that, a stripped acacia. Switch back to your smooth red sandstone. Go one there and one there. And again, that side's all nicely sealed up as well. So now let's just work on his um, bum area, should I say. <laughs> right, okay, so get in your smooth red sandstone. You can actually bring that all the way across to the top like that. Come down a level, and you can do the same again all the way across like that. Now switch to your stripped acacia wood on the left-hand side. We're going to go one there and come down by one as well. Next to that, you're going to go with a smooth redstone, one, two, three. And again, back to your acacia wood, go one, two, three vertical down like that then to the left you're going to go one two acacia wood again and do the same on the right one two again in the center there you can actually place a smooth red sandstone followed by a orange terracotta underneath and also pop one there and one on that side as well so that is the back of our frog all done so now let's work on the top section looking down so obviously his bum's down here and we're looking down on top of the build. What I need you to do is get your stripped acacia wood and next to this acacia here, what I want you to do is actually just, we might as well use red sandstone, actually, sorry, pop red, sand, red sandstone, get your stripped acacia and go one, two there, and then do another red sandstone and then go acacia again, go one, two towards us. And then these gaps can be filled in with red sandstone, one, two, three, four, like that. Oh, I, wait, wait a minute. I just need to change this wood because the wood's all not facing the same way. And I told you I've got a bit of OCD, right? So you should have some looking like that so far. 
Then what I want you to do is use your red sandstone again and just across here do one strip all the way across so that's all nicely now. Then switch to your orange terracotta and we're going to go one, two and then do one, two on that side as well and in the centre there you can put another smooth red sandstone. And while you've got that in our hand you can actually go to the front where this sandstone is and actually just bring that all the way to the front because obviously that's now divided the two eyes up nicely. So all we're going to do now is go back to our black concrete. I'm going to pop in another black concrete there and also one there. Switch to your um, oak wood and pop in one there and also one like so, like that. And then go back to your smooth red sandstone and go one, two on top, one, two on top of that one as well. And then all we're going to do is just fill in this sort of top of the eyes, one, two, three, four. Do the same on the opposite side, one, two, three three four and then also on the back as well you can go one two like that these two blocks in the center there what i did is i used some orange terracotta next to the birch there i mean next to the oak plank sorry orange terracotta and then put a stripped acacia in there and there just to give it a little bit of um sort of effect of a shadow because of the eyes being there but anyway whew, that is the um my interpretation of the frog all done the only thing to mention which I haven't done is maybe if we go just underground here because it's quite difficult to get in because he's really low to the floor so you can't exactly walk into this guy. The only thing I haven't done is um, obviously told you what to do with the inside. Now it's entirely up to you. Obviously the frog is really low to the ground so um, no one's going to actually sort of see under here if they're just walking around in your survival world let's say. No one's going to be seeing the inside but obviously if you want to uh, make it a house or something on the inside you can do um, or if you want to see it all up the only thing I would suggest is use some orange terracotta and you can just make a base all the way across like that just to seal it all up so maybe if you did want to make a base in here or I don't know you want to use it as a animal pen or some I don't know I don't know whatever you want to do with it and um, you can maybe just do this or maybe put some planks for a floor in there and you got yourself a nice little bit of room and perhaps you could even make this in a in an ocean biome or something underwater that looked pretty cool as well so but anyway i better break out of here <laughs> oops fail break out of here and there we go that's my interpretation of a minecraft frog i hope you enjoyed that and make sure you stick around for the next tutorial i'll be in zooey mama and i'll see you in the next one bye